I, I'm going to, let's just, let's just deal with the white wires, okay? Well, I'm going to look at the white wires, and I know they come in on the left-hand side. And I'm going to, I'm going to plug two of those in to the, to the outlet, okay, the receptacle. But I got three wires. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pigtail. And I'm going to take two of these wires. Um, let's see, I'm going to take the, I'm going to use the longest one uh, by itself, I think. And I'm going to take, you can see that can, that can be to hook up the, uh, the receptacle. And then I'm going to take the two, and I have to kind of look and see how those wires are going to fold up. Uh, later okay I'm gonna use I'm gonna actually use that one okay that way I can push it back so I'm gonna use these two here and I'm gonna make a pigtail I'm gonna connect these two together okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these off just a just a smidge not not much okay and I've got a little pigtail piece here I did some work downstairs and I needed a black and so I had an extra white and the extra ground uh, little scraps so I'm going to use this as my pigtail okay I'm going to I'm going to put these three wires underneath a wire nut okay and I'm going to use a yellow wire nut because again this is 14 gauge wire. It's a little bit smaller than 12 gauge wire. If this was 12 gauge wire, I might have a hard time getting three of those under a yellow. I might have to use a red. But, and see the difference? So much bigger the red is than the yellow. Look at that. I'm trying to do the yellows so that I can push them back in the back of the box and have enough room to still put this uh, receptacle in there without hitting the wire nets and all that. That's why I didn't use an extra wire net for those ground wires. I just used the crimpers. We got all that that ground is no no issues with that. That's never gonna come apart, right? Okay, hold those three together. Hold your mouth just right. Twizzle that on. Hang on to these up here. And this one, this wire nut happens to have little thumb tabs on it. Some I bought didn't have those. I thought, dabbity nabbit. And see, I had some, I had some white ones too, some uh, off-white ones. And that's, that's kind of in between a yellow and a red. Um, but usually you don't see those in bags. I don't know where I got those. But yellow fit on there just fine, didn't it? Okay. So now I got to get that in the box, and I want the white off to the side. That's why I, I made sure I rearranged the wires, get the black wires up out of my way, and uh, and all that. Okay. So now I'm gonna take this and bend it, and then I'm gonna bend it again and fold it up into the back of the box. That should have plenty plenty of room. I'm trying to keep my my fingers off the wall even though even though that uh, um, I wash my hands first. When you start working with wires after a while um, you have a tendency of they just get black again from the wire and stuff. Okay so now I got my two white wires coming out of here. Okay I got one down here and I've got one up like that. Okay, that's for my my uh, side of the receptacle, and I can I can uh, cut these about the same length. I might have to cut those even shorter. I'm not actually. I don't think I will. See, the ground wire should have actually stuck out further, you know, but it's not. Okay, now I have to do that with the with the black wires, and I don't care. I don't again. I don't care which wire 
I connect um, and connect the two together. I can have I can have these two connected together, or I can have these two, or I can have those two, making a a little pigtail about the same length. I might have to cut those even shorter. I'm not actually. I don't think I will. See, the ground wire should have actually stuck out further, you know, but it's not. Okay, now I have to do that with the with the black wires, and I don't care. I don't again. I don't care which wire I connect um, and connect the two together. I can have I can have these two connected together, or I can have these two, or I can have those two, making a a little pigtail. Okay, so now now I've got to make another pigtail, and I've I use some wire downstairs uh, for some pigtails. And see, I've got I've got a little extra. This I've been carrying around this forever, and uh, I guess now's the time to use it, huh? Now's the time to use it. And I don't need this whole long piece. I got enough for probably three pigtails, and that's that's the only thing I've probably used this ever use this wire for at all. Okay, I'm gonna give myself plenty, and I can always cut it off later. Okay. So I got, I got plenty for at least two more later on down the road. And I just leave those in my bag. In fact, I'm, I'm gonna look and see which, which wire, uh, I think I can, I think I can, uh, I'll use this one for the long one down there and I'll, and I'll take these two. I wanna first position them in the box. Okay, where I know they're going into the back of the box, they're not hitting my white wires, they're not hitting the ground wires, or anything, okay? And then uh, I'm gonna give it about, I'm not gonna give this six inches, I'm gonna give it just a hair less because I'm putting a pigtail on there. So I don't have as much wire to shove in the wall, let's see. Now I'm gonna make my my pigtail, and this wire is f flexible. I'm, I'm uh, right-handed, so I, I just, I just push it over. You know, whatever, whatever makes it easy for me. Okay, that's, that all looks good. And instead of holding it like that, I like to, I like to tweak it back here far enough to where now I can just kind of hold these together. And if one wire looks like it needs to be rebent, then I can hold to pull this out, get my pliers, rebend it. Those look fine. Okay, now I'm hang hang on to the whole thing so that one doesn't want to slide out or something or start spinning. And now they're all they're almost twisting. I can feel them all twisting against themselves, and so I know I know I'm I'm plenty I'm plenty tight. You can pull on that and see. And now I'm going to push this in just like I did just like I did that side over there. Okay. Make sure this piece here re straighten at it. Whatever you got to do. About there. Now back in here. I'm going to take that and I'm going to swivel that up and flatten that out. I've got, there, that's good. I got the, that wire nut pushed all the way back. This left one is kind of springy a little bit, but it's pushing back. I've got that wire where it goes, and I've got this one where it goes. And now I'm going to make them the same length as these white wires, okay? I'm going to hold those right there. Okay, now I'm almost ready to put this electrical outlet in, all right. Okay, it looks like this, this one white wire. Okay, that's, uh, that's pretty good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it just a hair, just a hair. And be 
because I'm going to put them on the back, the back slot here, I'm going to go ahead and strip these. And I'm only going to strip them like maybe a half an inch or so because they're going in the back. If I was going to do around the screw, how long do you think I would have made them? Yeah, if you were watching my other video, an inch to an inch and an eighth or so. Okay, I'm just going to bend this over where it feels comfortable for me. And pinch it off. If I think it needs to go a little bit more, I can easily do it just a little bit more. Okay, there. That's what my box is going to look like so far. And obviously, if I was going to loop this over, I would have stripped those back further. I probably wouldn't have cut them off as far to um, go around the screws, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug them into the back. The first thing I'm going to do, before I do anything, I'm going to take these screws out. And they're held by a little cardboard uh, washer. That way I can, I can push it tight in there without these screws in my way. I did it a different way downstairs. But this time I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them out. And I don't really need those washers for anything, but you never know. I'll keep them. Okay. And so now I've got this all ready. I'm going to attach the ground first. I always like to attach the ground first. I don't know why I just do. 